Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, <laughs> I tried to make this video earlier and it wasn't working out for some strange reason. Um, it is concerning North Korea. And to make a long story very short, um, last night when I was, well, I wasn't really asleep. <laughs> I was sort of, I was awake, but I was kind of half asleep, I guess. Like I was beginning to become awake, but I was still sort of kind of asleep. And I heard, I believe it was the Lord say that um, North Korea will fight over America. Now, by fight over America, oh, I'm sorry, no, it said North Korea will fight for America. And by fight for America, I believe he means fight over America. Now, I don't know who they'll be fighting or why, um, I, but I kind of get the feeling that it's going to be sort of like a dispute over who gets what land or something like that. Um, also, my mom, she she had never heard of Kim Jong-un. She didn't know that he existed. <laughs> she just, she didn't know. She didn't know that he existed. And, um, she doesn't, she's, you know, doesn't, doesn't know anything about North Korea or their government or like anything like that. Um, but one day she saw him on television and this was maybe a couple months ago and she really kind of had a hard time, um, like speaking to me because I mean she had some personal things she wanted to talk about but in her spirit she was very like disturbed and she couldn't really talk you know because she just was so upset but um and she was trying to like she was like who is this um you this guy Kim something Kim on or something I said from North Korea she's like I know you know what I'm talking about and I'm like you're talking about Kim Jong-un she's like well whoever he is I don't know who he is he's some kind of I don't know if he's in charge over there or something like that. I'm like, yes, brother, he's the president, his dad. She's like, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> I don't even really care. You know, I don't know. I just know that, oh, my God. And she was just, like, wailing and lamenting. And I just was kind of thinking, okay, mom, <laughs> mom's a little dramatic and kind of, <laughs> you know. But I'm like, she's, this is even strange for even my mom. I'm thinking, but I said, well, okay, I understand she doesn't know anything about him. But, like, why is she so... Like, what's wrong? What happened? She's like, oh, my God, I just can't tell you. The Lord is just, oh, my God, he is just saying that. Oh, this is horrible. And I'm thinking, what in the world? She's like, I can't put it into words. And so finally, she was like, oh, I just can't even tell you. But this is just, I just do not, it's not good, son. This is not good. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, like he has nuclear weapons and other people had, you know, on YouTube had been, um, Ruby's table, Ruby from the Ruby's table talk. It specifically had, you know, had some things that she said the Lord has shared with her about North Korea. So I kind of was in the position of, like, I already know. But for me, it was so special to know that my mom doesn't come on YouTube. She doesn't watch the news. So her, the information she gets is just so very, like, it's directly from God. Like, even sometimes she'll get these revelations about things that she really believes are, are coming from the Lord. And even this past resurrection weekend I had to tell her and I can't remember what the specific thing was but whatever this revelation was it was it was very special to me that the Lord himself revealed it to her without her having to read it in the Bible but it was something that the Bible specifically said like pretty much verbatim like it was an actual scripture but she hadn't not said mom that's in the Bible and she said really <laughs> I'm like yeah I'm like yeah I'm not like making it up that's what she said is it's written specifically in the Bible, she said, oh, and she kind of looked like, oh, wow, I didn't know that, <laughs> you know, I guess she kind of felt like, wow, I thought it was a revelation, but it's really a scripture, <laughs> but it was just so special to me, because I'm like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really awesome that God just gave it to you, you know, and so a lot of times, a lot of the things that she gets, I, you know, I take her for her word, you know, and I know the Lord told me, I, I inherited, I got my gift from my mom, like, I sort of inherited or something, but um, she doesn't like to talk about it. She's probably going to, <laughs> she's going to fuss at me a little bit for kind of mentioning it in, on my videos. But um, so I'm just saying that a lot of people probably think that the whole North Korea thing is not going to come, you know, too much. And I don't know when, how. I kind of have my own opinions about 
you know, that it'll start and then other things will happen and it'll kind of slow down and it'll pick back up and certain countries that may be on the outside will turn against us and we're going to turn against Israel and all types of, there's so many different pieces and I've, lots of people I've listened to and I kind of try to put the pieces together, but I don't know for um, certain, but when she saw him on television, she just really couldn't even put into words how she felt, but she was really like sort of lamenting. And finally, she um, said he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And I know, and I remember knowing, I had the understanding that, okay, now that's what God has given her and that's what's going to come to pass. Um, that's what's going to come to pass. And that's pretty much the word from the Lord concerning this situation with North Korea is that um, Kim Jong-un is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, so... If you don't know Jesus Christ as your, as your personal Lord and Savior, please repent of your sins. Thank God for sending his son to die on the cross for your sins. Um, ask him to forgive you for the things that you do and say that you shouldn't. And ask him to um, send the Holy Spirit to live in your heart to help you to um, live according to the will of God. And get a Bible and read it. And read and read and, and just, you know, as much as you can because we might not have them for long. In any case, God bless you and I will see you soon.